Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. With the grace of Almighty Allah, inshallah or Aziz, today in this lesson uh, we will learn about Ilm al syntax. Ilm al is a knowledge which shows us how to join a noun, verb and particle. To form a correct sentence as well as what the condition of the last letter of a word should be, a rab of a word should be. So that's the definition. So we will make a correct sentence. How can we put ism, fail, and harf? Noun, verb, and particle in a proper order to make a sensible sentence. And the subject matter of this science is word and sentence. So we will collect words from Ilm al-Sarf. We will import words from Ilm al-Sarf morphology and then we will make a proper sentence. So, word and sentence, these are the subject matter of ilm al and uh, syntax. And the third thing which we should know, what is our aim and object to learn ilm al uh, syntax. So remember the aim and object of syntax is to prevent one of verbal mistakes and ultimately understand the Quran and Hadith thereby gaining the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So first of all we will learn some basic things. Whatever we utter or speak is called lafs. Lafs. So whatever we speak Whatever we utter from our mouth is called lafs. Then lafs can be meaningful or can be meaningless. So there are two types of lafs. Meaningful is called baamana lafs. Meaningless is baamana lafs. So meaningful word or lafs is called maudu. And meaningless word is called muhmal. Maudu or muhmal. That word which has been made for a meaning is called maudu. And that word which has no meaning is called muhmal. For example, Zaidun is a meaningful word. On the other hand, Daizun is a muhmal. Daizun means nothing. And we can have some examples from our language as well. If somebody comes as a guest at our house, we offer him chai shai piyogi. Chai has a meaning, but shai has no meaning. So in our daily life, we use many words which has no meaning. So those words which have no meanings, they are called muhmal and the meaningful lafs or word is called mawdu and the other name of mawdu is kalima kalima so meaningful word is called kalima again there are three types of kalima
ism fail and harf ism fail and harf ism means noun fail means verb and harf means particle noun verb and particle these are three types of kalima or meaningful word or mawdu so what does noun mean now we will learn the definitions of ism fail and harf ism means the name of a person place or object which does not have any tense for example al baytu al qalam is noun it's ism makkah madina baghdad name of a place abdul qadir jilani name of a person abu bakr as siddiq name of a person so all these names are called ism and they have no tense number 2 is verb verb is called fail and verb means that word which denotes an action and has a tense for example if we say nasara that's past tense nasara means he helped in the past yaduribu means he hits or he will hit this verb has two tenses at the same time present tense and future tense so yadribu means he hits at the present or he will hit in the future so that's called fail or verb and the third one is particle which is called harf that word the meaning of which cannot be understood without joining a noun or verb or both to it for example there are some particles min ala so min means from min is a particle we cannot understand the meaning of min until we put it together with a noun or with a verb or with both noun and verb ala means of so we cannot understand the meaning of ala until we put it with a verb or a noun so it's called harf or particle so these are three types of kalima or mawdu means meaningful word ism fail harf noun verb and particle so now we will learn an example in which we can know all these three ذهب زيد الى المدرسه زاد went to the school 
Zahava is a verb. Zaidun is noun. Ila is a particle. Al Madrasa means school is a noun. So today in this lesson we learned lafs, then two types of lafs, mawzu and muhmal, meaningful word, meaningless word. Again, we learned that the meaningful word is called kalima, and there are three types of kalima, ism, fail, harf, noun, verb, and particle. Inshallah, in the next lesson, we will learn about uh, the different types of ism.